Tony Knight Doglessner here. I want to share a short film that I took last weekend while I was doing dog classes over in Perth, Western Australia. I was staying with friends, uh, Elena and Grant Alexander, and they've got a menagerie of small dogs at their house because um, Elena has been a long time um, associated with Chihuahua Rescue. So as, long as, as well as Chihuahuas, by the way, there are other little dogs, Jack Russells, etc. And uh, one dog in particular caught my attention, and that was Mad Max. Uh, the first night I was there, I called Max over for a little fuss, and Elena and Grant sort of did this because apparently he's bitten. Uh, he didn't, thank goodness, because, well, I got the interaction correct, and when I saw that they were reacting that way, I stopped. Didn't want to push it, because we'd only just met. But one thing that Max would do is he would get very, very excited. The adrenaline would start coursing through his body whenever there was a change, the slightest change, if another dog reacted. He was up, he was ready. And he was particularly kind of, uh, not aggressive too, but very wary of another dog in the house called Rusty. And those two have had a few set twos in the past. Um, they managed very well, I have to say, by Elena and Grant. But they were looking for a way to try and make that, you know, the whole introduction a little bit more calm. I happened to notice that um, Max would take out his frustration, for want of a better word, on some of the dog beds that were lying around. So I suggested that these were put down as a diversionary tactic. Something else for him to get his teeth into, literally, whenever something was going on. So what we did was we put the beds down and then after Max was introduced, we introduced Rusty. And sure enough, Max went for the bed. Now what was good about this was he, him going for that meant that he wasn't going for Rusty. And we made sure that we shepherded the, you know, the two, so we made sure that, that we were a, a block between the two, so that we were encouraging Max to go more towards the beds than to any of the dogs. And any time he did this, we made sure that there was a bed near him so he could just grab hold of it and give it a shake, like a lot of dogs do. Remember, when they shake their toys or whatever, that's basically the instinct going, kill this thing, break its back, which isn't so pleasant when we think about it, but that's what they do. Now, what was good about this was it enabled Max to go from this adrenaline spike back to calm sooner without any harm being done. So if you're looking after a dog or you own a dog that has this tendency, see if you can redirect that initial burst of adrenaline onto something which is going to do no harm to anybody. On a side note, you may have noticed that uh, Max is castrated. Now often with dogs that are aggressive, people will say, first thing you do is you cut them off. However with Max, that's not helped. So maybe we're dealing with a different part of the body. But that's for another time. So that's all for this particular film. Hope you've enjoyed that, found that useful. My name's Tony Knight. Thanks for listening. Mm -hmm.